Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a custom wire cap for your modified trolling motor shaft. That being said, let's go ahead and get started. This is the main part I'm going to be using in this project. This is made by Orbit, which is for landscaping or lawn care, and it's a three-quarter inch threaded section here by three-quarter inch slip-in section here and this is actually used to attach hoses so you know it's going to be watertight and made for an outdoor environment so this is what I'm going to use that's going to make a swivel just like this and that's what it's for this is how this project's going to begin and everything's going to build off it this is a small section of a Minn Kota trolling motor shaft and it's about one and one eighth inches in diameter which is pretty standard along the industry and you're going to use this to size this three quarter inch PVC slip fit and male threaded section. What you're going to do is slide it over here but you can see it doesn't fit. So using a heat gun or something safely that means using gloves and some kind of tongs to hold these things because the parts are going to get hot you're going to heat up this section until it gets pliable enough that you can slip it over this end just like this because I've already done it and then you're going to build everything upon that and this is your swivel and the way I'm going to set mine up and I'll probably remove that o-ring because you don't need it and then you go from there I wanted to go over a couple options for this project. On the left here, that's an actual Minn Kota piece of shaft, and I've already heat treated the three quarter slip by three quarter male threaded section. And then this is the main swivel part for this, and it's got the female threaded section here, and then the female slip section here. And this is just a piece I put in there to hold the place, and this is a three quarter inch slip with a one half inch female thread and then you can put in your little gland nut or whatever you want to use for your cabling. Now this on the right I'm just using a piece of three quarter to simulate the shaft. Again you would have the heat treated three quarter slip and male threaded section again with the swivel and again with a piece of three quarter inch PVC pipe and this is a three-quarter inch slip to a three-quarter inch female threaded 90 and then you can also use this this is from Orbit which you would find in your irrigation or lawn care section it's a three-quarter inch to one-half inch adapter you can try using that if you want to and then you can put on the smaller gland nut for your wiring Okay, so I've cut all my pieces to make everything fit as flush as possible. So to start off with, this is the piece that's going to go over the shaft and it's already been heat treated. And I ended up cutting some of the threads off this so it would butt up flush with the swivel. Now it's not tightened down all the way, none of these are, but when I tighten it up and get ready for paint, I'm going to use a little bit of marine goop on everything to seal it. I'm not going to use PVC glue because then it'll never come apart if you need to do it. So then I've got my swivel here and in between the slip fit here and this slip fit is the three quarter inch section of PVC pipe and again I cut it down so it's going to be flush. Then here is where I'm going to be putting in the gland nut which is a PC 13.5 and it's going to thread in here. Now it's not an exact fit, but this is soft plastic so you'll be able to get it in there. And again, I'll use the marine goop to make sure nothing backs out. But I'm not going to put everything together until I make sure all the wiring fits through it. This is the finished project and I've assembled it and painted it and you can see it still swivels and it's ready to be installed on the trolling motor. 
Okay, I wanted to give a brief illustration of the issue I was having. Now, because my trolling motor steering setups normally will go 90 degrees in either direction, the trolling motor plug wires had to be very long because as you see here, when I turn in one direction, it gets longer and stretches, and of course the same goes for the opposite direction. And because of my steering cable lines, I had to make sure that the power cables weren't interfering. So I had to come up with something that would make this easier, and I think I have with the swivel mount. And that's going to allow me to use a shorter cable for the trolling motor plug, and I'll be able to mount it much closer to the trolling motor itself. I've installed the swivel wire cap on the trolling motor and I'm going to go ahead and test it out and see how it goes. All I need to do now is tighten up some of the wiring and it works just like it should. I would add that it adds about two and a half inches in height to the trolling motor shaft, so that might be something you want to take into consideration when you modify yours. So that's it. If you have any questions, please leave them for me in the comments. Thank you.